Hello and welcome. I'm Steve Lister and in today's video I want to have a look at some of the different uh, layouts that are available in wave.video and some of the video editing where I can trim a video to a particular length. So let's get started. I'm going to go to create and I'm going to create a blank video. I'm going to use a 16 by 9 format as I do in most of my videos. And while it's setting up I'm going to use a theme of Christmas cats for today's video. So we're on the blank canvas. If I go to stocks and uploads, that'll allow me to search. So I'm going to put in here Christmas cats and just see what pops up. Now I'd like images as opposed to videos for this particular slide. I've got an idea what I want to do. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to go with this ginger Tom here. So I've got a ginger cat with a Santa's hat on. Uh, I like ginger cats, so we'll go with him. And it's now a background. What I want to do is I want to go up to layouts on the right hand side. Click on that and you'll see I've got several layouts available. There's lots of them. For this one I want something along the lines of some baubles. So I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to expand the shapes. And I've got this one here with three circles in it. So I'm going to use that one. And you'll see my cats move from the background to the first circle. If I click in the circle, go to edit. I can move that cat around in there and I can scale him but it's fine as he is. I'm quickly going to fill these other two in so I'm going to go to uh, replace stock library uh, we'll have that one there and the third one we'll go into there we'll go to replace we'll go to stock library let's see what we've got for our third one um, that's a nice one there go with that one so I've now got my three cats what I want to do now is put a background on. So I'm going to click on somewhere on the background. I'm going to go to replace stock library. And instead of Christmas cats, I'm just going to put the word Christmas. Have a look. And instead of images, I actually want videos. I want an animated background. And I want to look for some snowflakes. So I'm going to go with that one there. Looks all right. Yeah, so I've got my three cats and baubles. And I've got the animated background. What I'd like to do now is just add some text. So I go to add text, put this down here, and click in there, and I'm just going to put the word Christmas cats. And then I want to make that transparent background. So like I did in previous videos, I'm going to go to textiles, and I'm going to go down to there, and I've now got that one done. If I go to the slide on the timeline, I can go to where it says Christmas cats. I'm just going to stretch it across so it fills the entire time of the slide. And let's have a look. This particular slide is now six seconds long, so I'm going to grab it here and I'm going to shrink it down to about four seconds. So that's my first slide. Let's try another slide. All right, let's click here, have another slide, go to the stock library. Um, this time I want something like, I want a cat in the snow, so I'm going to put, um, click in here, go with cat in snow. I want a video, so that one looks all right there. Click on that one, and I've now got a cat in the snow as a video background. Again, I want to go up to layouts. This time I'm going to use a basic layout, and I'm going to go with this one here, which is like 50-50. So my video is on 50% of the screen and the other side blank. So I click on the blank side, go to replace, stock library. And again, instead of snow, cat in snow, I want Christmas. Let's have a look. And I want a video. And in this particular one, I want something that looks like Christmas baubles or something similar. There we go. Some baubles there, look. So we'll have that one. So I've got... An animated cat, a video on one side, and I've got some baubles on the other side, which are also animated. What I'd like to do now is add some text. So I come down to my slide, click on the plus text symbol, add text. I'm going to pull it up here because I want it on the dark blue so it stands out. And I'm just going to put in there, Merry Christmas. That'll do nicely. And we'll just uh, center that up maybe a little bit. And I'll do there. And again, we'll come down to where the text is and we'll just stretch the text out from the full length of the slide. Again, 
And what I like to do now is just shrink this down because it's about 12 seconds long and I want to shrink it down to about four. Now, one other thing I want to do, if I go to the animation of the cats or the video, click on there, if you come on the right hand side, you see I've got this little trim icon that's now lit up and the crop and rotate. What I'd like to do, if I click on trim, what it'll do, it'll bring the video up. It'll show you the four seconds that I've actually got between these two bars. It tells you that I've got four seconds. What I'd like to do is see if there's any sort of movement, because what I don't want is to waste four seconds on a cat. It just sits still. So I'm going to just pull this to the end, and I'm just going to preview this video. So the cat, actually, in the first four seconds, he does actually do something. So that's fine. So I'm going to pause it there. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to have that four seconds there. So I've got four second video there. If I click on trim, uh, I've now got that particular section of that video. So I can highlight whatever section I want, at whatever time I want. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, what I'll do now is we'll go into another um, slide. So I'm going to create one more slide. Again, stock library. Uh, and this time I want um, a big cat in the snow. So I'm going to put snow cats. See what comes up. Uh, let's just try snow cats. Any big cats here? Let's have a look. Uh, that one looks quite nice. So I'm going to go with that one. And again, it's put it as a slide um, video on the background. What I want to do is same as before. I want to go up to layout. This time we're going to try a different one. We're going to try a device layout. So if I expand the devices and you'll see there's some mobile phones and some laptop screens and it shows you what actually happens there. You can get a preview of it. What I'm going to do is go with this first laptop screen here. Click on that. And you'll see my video is now inside a laptop screen, which is fine. Click on the background, and I'm going to go to replace stock library. And in here, I'm just going to put Christmas again. Let's have a look. Again, I want an animated video, so I'm going to have that one. And I'm going to pick on these snowflakes here. So I've got that one there. And again, I want some text. I'm going to come down here on the timeline to the slide, click on Add Text, and I'm just going to type in here. Because um, we had Merry Christmas, I'm going to put from Big Cats. Because it's a big cat. And I'll just stretch it out a little bit. And I'm going to move that down here. Put centered there. That's fine. I think the text is all right. We don't have to shrink it or anything. And once again, I want to move the text so it covers the entire video of that particular slide. And once again, I also want to see it's 13 seconds long. Uh, I want to keep it at four seconds for now. So I'm going to go to four seconds. And once again, I'm going to click in the video of the cat and I'm going to go to trim. And I'm going to see if there's any movement in this video as well. Again, I don't want it just stationary. So I'm going to stretch that out. I'm going to click on preview. See where it moves, if anything. Yeah, so it does actually move its head somewhere there. So I'm going to go to around about here. And I'm going to pull that in so it's a four second video. There we go. So we've got four seconds there. And I'm going to click on trim. So I've now got that one trimmed as well. What I'm going to do here, because this video will get quite long otherwise, I'm going to create a couple more slides, but I'm just going to pause the video. Uh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to select a, an image or a video, and I'm going to put it into a background, put some text on, and I'll come back in a couple of seconds, and we'll see you then. Right, what I've done, I've created three more slides. So I'm just going to this one here. Done exactly the same thing, selected a video, this time I went into layouts and I selected the mobile device, put a background, put some text, and I trimmed the video, made it four seconds. And in the next to last slide, I went in, I selected three videos. In the layouts, I went down to the collage effects and I selected one that got like three panes to it. I've gone in, I've trimmed the videos, and I've put some 
text on there. And what I'd like to do with this one, although it's a, a predefined layout, what I'd like to do is just alter it a fraction. So I'm going to click on this slide here, the main slide. I'm going to shrink it down and I'm going to move it. So I'm going to put it sort of there. I'm going to do the same with this one here. I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to put it up there, uh, probably more that way. And the same with this one here. I'm just going to shrink it down. And try and get it to match up with that one. Yep. And get it to match up at the bottom. And we'll just shrink it that way a little bit. Right, that's pretty much what I want. If I click on this space I've created, this is like the background. So if I select the background, go to replace, stock library. And again, we'll go into Christmas. And we'll pick a video. And we'll have something along the lines of, let's have a look. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, I want something quite dark. Oh, maybe not dark now. Uh, we'll go with. Um, let's go with this one here. So I've got like a winter scene. So I'm going to go to replace. And again, I've now got a background. Uh, so everything else is trimmed. Um, so that's pretty much it for that one. And the last one, what I did, I just got a basic video and I stuck it on a plain background, nothing special there, and I put some text on there. So the only thing I want to do now is I want to go to the transitions. So I go to the first transition and I'm going to select crossfade and I'm going to say apply to the whole video. So we all crossfade. That's pretty much it. And if I come down to the timeline, I'm going to go down to the bottom here. I'm going to add some audio. So if I go on this bottom track, it says plus audio. So I'm going to go into the stock library. And I think I'm going to have something along the lines of we wish you a Merry Christmas or something like that. So I'm going to put we wish you. And let's see if anything comes up. It does. So let's have a look. Um, I can click on it. And you can, it'll preview it. And that's fine. I'll, I'll go with that. I'm going to click on add. And I've now got that on here. And what I can do, if I click on that, I can go up to here. I can trim it. I can replace it. I can change the volume. I'm going to change the volume because it's, it could actually be quite loud. So I'm going to change the volume down to something like about 50% or thereabouts. 51 is close enough. I can fade it in at the start and I can fade it out at the end. Um, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave them. And that's pretty much it for this video. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to render it uh, and we'll have a look at the final video. OK, we'll play the final video. It's been rendered uh, in 1080p. We'll just see what it looks like. Not too bad. Now, bear in mind, this only took like 13, 14 minutes to create. It's only a 30 second video, but you see how easy it is to actually create this. Uh, we started from scratch. We uh, found the videos, we trimmed them, we changed the layouts, uh, and we ended up with a final video. It doesn't look too bad. I like Wave.video. I find it very easy to use. Uh, it's very intuitive. I have tried other ones. Uh, a lot of them are very, very similar. But I do keep coming back to Wave.video purely because it's so simple to use. If you've liked this video and anything useful in it, by all means, like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.